So, let's move to Australia. Of course you have to join us. <sighs> On moving day? Really? Hmm? Welcome back to another video. We are moving today and you're coming with me when I move to Australia. During this whole moving process, I've been trying to find people who make long content on YouTube, who have moved to Sydney or moved to Australia or packed for Australia or done anything and I can't find anything. There's so little. I find that no one has filmed this process so I'm going to try and film it the best I can. Obviously, it's a really stressful time so I see why people don't film it. As someone moving out there, I wanted to see, like I just want to see what it's like, I want to see the process, I wanted to see everything. So I'm going to be that for you. So if you're moving to Australia and you've been looking and looking for someone to show you what it's like to move, to fly, to whatever, then here I am. You're welcome. I'm blessing your screen and I'm going to show you what it's like to move to Australia. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, uh, 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 uh. follow my TikTok as well. I'll be posting on there daily, hopefully, as long as my mental state allows it. Yeah, I will. And yeah, we've done most of our goodbyes. There's only one big goodbye left, which is my mum at the airport, which is going to be the hardest, probably. I feel like the airport's the most emotional. I haven't really got that emotional yet. I've tried to keep all of the goodbyes kind of short and sweet, because if you think about it too much, I will cry. So I'm trying to figure out my suitcases. I was trying to squeeze everything into this bag. Now this bag is literally going to pop open, right? My big bag. It's only 24 kgs, but I'm allowed 30. And I thought that it all had to go in the one case, but it doesn't. As long as your checked bags add up to a total of 30 kg, the ones that are going under the plane, then it doesn't matter how many pieces of luggage you have. So I'm going to bring another suitcase, divide it up a little more, so that my hand luggage is solely things I need for the flight, like a change of clothes and my face masks and stuff. But yeah, let's move to Australia. Goodbye, Costa del Desert Martin. I'm gonna miss that view. Hey. I'm gonna miss that view. More than I miss you. No joking. Everybody in. <laughs> woo, woof, woof. How are you feeling, Owen? Deadly. I feel really excited. All of a sudden, today I've just got really excited. It's actually happening. Did you get me a drink? Yeah. Did you get me a drink? Yeah. And you're meant to be the man that's meant to look after me now. How are you feeling, mummy? Yeah, good. You feel good? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, boy. Thank you. We got to the airport at seven. Yeah, we got to the airport. I'm going to have to talk really quick because it's going to get copyrighted here now with the music. We got to the airport. Mommy left us off. She carried a wee tiny bit. I teared up a little bit. But it's fine. It's all good. We're here now. Say hello. Yo, yo, yo. Guys, the machine that took us through security. Magic. Magic. Sure, magic. Life changing stuff. Didn't have to remove anything out of my case. Not one electric item. Not one nothing. And we went through in 4.5 seconds. So, absolutely ecstatic with that. That's really it for now, guys. I'll chat to you on the flight. Thank you. Here we go. You ready? <laughs> We've got the two seater, guys. We walked through business class, and boy, do I regret not getting business class. Oh, they're fancy earphones. That's what I'm talking about. People in front of us didn't come, so one sitting. Here now. So we both have two seats each. The on flight entertainment has White Lotus, so I think I'm gonna watch it as two seasons. 20 minute delay, which is a wee bit scary considering we have an hour and a half to get on our other flight in Dubai already. It'll all work out. My eyes are strung off me, I can't wait to go to sleep. <sighs> Shortly. Oh, 
day guys. As the seatbelt sign keeps coming on so I keep up making up from this lovely position. I'm so tired, there just seems to be a lot of clouds so there's quite a bit of turbulence just waking me up. Rude! The food was really really good earlier. That was a couple of hours ago now I think. Two and a half hours left so on this leg. And then we've got 13 and a half, a 13 hour flight to Sydney. It's crazy out here. Time for leg two of the flight, guys. It's a 14 hour haul, price business class, and it was 1400 each. Not happening. It's got actual leg room seats, though. It's like a little sustainability essentials kit for traveling face mask, socks, and toothbrush and toothpaste. Love that. on the seats because we've extra leg room they're like attached to the seat we're eating again a turkey and cheese sandwich with mustard mayo wasn't about it we've got the margarita pizza what's your verdict thank you we're eating again <laughs> i feel like this video is just updates of what i'm eating on the plane this is what we're having for breakfast First dinner in the apartment. Nutritious. Girls, you can't cope. We arrived. I haven't updated you since yesterday. I'm so sorry. I don't even remember where I left you off at. I think it was might have been on the plane. I'm not 100 percent sure. But anyway, we got here at six o'clock yesterday. The flights were a bit rough on us. Like, Jesus, they are long. People tell you how long the flight is, girls. Expect worse. Because it is so long. I watched Literally on my second flight, the 13 hour one, I watched the whole first season of White Lotus. Except for the last 10 minutes. Because we were landing and they made me put my like TV down because we were in the extra leg room and they come out, out of the seat. So when we were landing they made me put it down. I have nine minutes, nine and a half minutes to watch of White Lotus at some point. I don't even have the subscription to the service that shows it. So a bit of a nightmare. But we're here, we got to the apartment. I'm obsessed with this apartment. I'm so sad it's just a sublet. It's only for four weeks and it's in Maroubra. But guys, it's stunning. Like, it's literally the perfect apartment. There's so many windows, so much light getting in. Yeah, it's just lovely and spacious and I've been loving it and the planes go by. There's another one. I'm starting a first week in Sydney vlog, so I want to end this one here because this was just the travel vlog. I don't even know if I have enough for a big vlog, but I'll put, the, put it up anyway because it's good to know for anyone traveling out here what it's like. We flew with Emirates. Let me just tell you, right? I was pure panicking about baggage allowance and all of that. We went up to the desk. And me and one were obviously together on the booking. Our baggage allowance was actually 60 kg between the both of us. She didn't do them separately. I don't know if everyone does that or if it was just her, so don't like take my word for it. Like Owen had 6 kg left in his case. I was a wee bit over, so I was panicking. But because together we were less than 60, she didn't even flinch. Like she just put us on through. So that was fab. So that's, I think, good to know because I was panicking. They also didn't weigh our um, hand luggage, so that's good. I think they might do random checks, but they didn't do us, so it was good, because mine was a bit over. We ate, because it's only meant to be 7kg with Emirates. What else, girls? Yeah, first flight, there was a lot of turbulence. I think I already told you that. Like, it was constant, like, turbulence. So we kept having to put our seatbelts on, which was extremely annoying, considering that we had, like, two seats each, so we could lie down. But we weren't even able to sleep, because we kept having to sit bloody upright. We're here now. We're excited as anything. We've done a bit of shopping yesterday. Um, our groceries. We only got one bag of groceries. And it was $92. Plus we went in to get some shampoo, body lotion and conditioner. Which was $42. Just for those three items. Annie had a heart attack. 
but they really aren't lying when they tell you D Sydney's dear, it just is. So yeah, we'll be looking for work ASAP Rocky, if that's the case. So, yeah, the apartment's like a six minute walk from the beach, stunning. I really like this area actually. I haven't been to any other areas to compare, but I do love this area. Anything else about the travel process that I need to tell you about? Just prepare for it to be long, like it is gonna be long, but you just get through it, it's fine. Like, you know, it's just very boring. It's a long time to be sitting on a seat, put it that way. And I love sitting on seats, girls. I love sitting on seats, but I was even bored. We kind of slept all day yesterday by accident. We were meant to go for a quick nap at like 10 a.m. and we slept until eight. Not ideal, girls, but just happened to be that way and we stayed up all night, basically, so we're wrecked. Um, but we're gonna try and persevere today. It, to get our phone set up, Medicare set up, TFN numbers, and banks set up. So that's what we're doing today, but we'll, I'll show you that all in the next vlog. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful, if anything. Yeah, I can't wait to start vlogging out here. I'm very excited. But I love you all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Come with me to Australia. I'm gonna show you everything. Comment an Australian flag if you're still watching to this point. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.